part two. I'll keep it very brief because I'm running out of space on my phone. Beautiful book. Absolutely recommend. 18 different, you know, what is it? 12 printings since 1975. Everything from the Hare Krishnas to the Christian Zen is in here. Everything from Christian yoga to transcendental meditation. The New Age movement to UFOs. If you've ever felt yourself getting a wee bit spaced out by the spiritual soup that's out there, then check this book out and it'll keep you right. It'll keep you very right. Now, the author mentions a lot of, you know, these Catholic contemplatives, especially like William Johnson. You know, nowadays you've got R Ronald Rohr, Richard Rohr, is it? You've got Thomas Merton. And Thomas Merton gets a good mention in this book. Uh, I say a good mention. I mean, the author he doesn't keep any hairs on his tongue when he, when he's, he calls the shots. He basically says that Thomas lost his way with the whole equating, you know, Zen, Zazen, Shikantaza to, to the unitive Christian experience of God. They're very, very different. The author mentions the, the, the influence of Hindu uh, Vedic ways and Tantra and all these things that have crept in to Western, shall we say, decadent spirituality. The West fell away from grace with the schism and and its move away from the authentic Orthodox Church. It sounds bigoted, it sounds horrendous, but, you know, I can only say it's true based on my own experience. And he says a Catholic, when he goes to his mass, when he goes to his church, he might experience some grace here and there because of the goodness of God. But grace has left the building, it's left the church. You know, for years I was a Catholic monk. I never tasted the grace of the of the liturgy until I until I set foot into an Orthodox monastery in Essex in England. Completely blew my mind. I'd never experienced anything like that in years and years of going to Catholic masses in Rome and with the Pope and everything. It just there was no comparison. So they 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 lack grace. Because they're not plugged in to the one body of Christ. And as a result, they seek to replace it with false mysticism. But also they seek to replace it with, with institutional idolatry. So they idolize the Pope and make, a, make something out of that or canon law. And it's all about mortal and venial sins and legalism. Up until recently, he acknowledges. And then, you know, in the light of Vatican II, inclusivism crept in pluralism pluralistic ideas crept into the church of a kind of and this is the hindu influence uh you mentioned swami with kananda this this idea that all roads lead to rome all roads lead to the truth all roads lead to to the one concrete same unitive experience of god um which you know father seraphim is just a no has no uh, mis makes no mistake about it. it's just wrong, you know. I myself have gone wrong with these Catholic ideas, even recently, and uh, you know, one's left. All I can say is like being left in a dark room, eventually, trying to manufacture your own light. We are God's vine. We are the branches on God's vine. We can't manufacture our own light. We must turn to the light of Christ. I must turn to God. In this book, Father Seraphim Rose mentions the sincerity of Zen monks, etc., and their diligent asceticism, but he says it's without Christ. They are left without Christ in the world. He talks about everything, as I say, from Hare Krishna's to Christian yoga and all these things, and helps one to navigate one's way to authentic spirituality. We need the spirit to be spiritually, you know, fed. He acknowledges because, you know, why do people turn to religion? The only authentic reason, he says in one of his books, is to, is, is to seek God and be satisfied by him, to be, to, to be filled with his light and to know who we are in him. And that's what we discover in the holy, pure, traditional faith of 
of the Orthodox tradition. I'm very, very grateful to have found it. It's like a present one opens more and more each day and and experiences something of it. But there's always more, there's more, there's more. How beautiful. I wholeheartedly recommend this book. Excuse my blethering. <laughs>